In this video, we'll be taking a look at the G1200 digital microscope. These microscopes are designed for educational use, parts inspection and small electronic works. The box contains the basic user manual, the all-in-one 7-inch screen with a built-in microscope and LEDs. There is a USB cable and a 5 volt 2 amp power adapter for charging the microscope's internal battery. There is the upright metal stand that holds the microscope and the metal base. For the assembly, the metal upright stand is screwed onto the base. The microscope and screen simply slide into the bracket and are held in place by tightening the thumb screw. The angle of the microscope can be tilted forward or backwards and there is a small bolt and nut that may need to be tightened or loosened to make the adjustments. At the back of the screen is the micro USB port for charging and image transfers onto a PC. Just below that, there is a micro SD card slot for storing captured videos and photos. There is a dial for adjusting the LED light intensity from low to high, and there is a reset button. The microscope is compact and portable, and with its small size, it can be placed on a desk or workspace. By pressing and holding the power button for two seconds, it is powered on by the built-in battery. It can also be powered on and charged with the USB cable on a PC or with the included power adapter. The operation of the microscope is easy and on either side we have a dial for adjusting the height. By adjusting the microscope's height, we can increase or decrease the magnification. The focus is adjusted with the front centre dial being turned left or right to bring the objects into focus. For a first impression, the image quality on the screen and magnification are better than expected, and the overall build quality is good. The control of the dials is smooth and accurate to adjust, and it's quick and easy to set up and inspect items. Let's have a look at the usable magnification range. At its highest setting, the space from the base to the bottom of the lens is 135mm. Measuring 1mm on the screen from the ruler placed under the microscope gives a viewable 5 times magnification. At the microscope's closest range of 20mm, measuring 1mm on the screen gives a 45 times magnification on the screen. There is a further 4 stage digital zoom and this reaches a total magnification of 73 times. Using the digital zoom slightly reduces the image quality. While it's still usable, it's best to stick with the optical zoom for clearer images. Lifting the ruler off the base and closer to the lens, we can get a bit more out of the microscope. With the maximum magnification of 125 times on the screen with the digital zoom turned on. By using an optional micro SD card, we can capture videos or photos of the object under the microscope. To capture photos, the display button is pressed to cycle through the video, photos and playback modes. With the photo mode selected, in the settings, it's a good idea to change the photo capture mode to delay a few seconds. Having the countdown timer delay will help eliminate any movement in the device caused when pressing the button, giving a sharper image. To play back the image, we can change the display mode to playback and then scroll through the images or videos with the directional arrow buttons. For video, it will record in 1080 in the MOV file format. There are further options to record at 3, 5 and 10 minute intervals. For example, if you set it to 3 minutes, it will record and continue to record, creating a new file every 3 minutes of footage. The captured photos and videos stored on the SD card can be viewed on the screen of the microscope, or on a PC by connecting the USB cable from the microscope to a PC and selecting the mass storage mode. The magnification of the microscope is plenty for inspecting small components on electronics, and there is enough room to work under the microscope when soldering. The 7 inch monitor gives a nice clear view of the object under the microscope. It provides a magnified view which is perfect for checking and soldering on DIY electronic projects or when making repairs. This digital microscope is a good tool that works well for the home workshop which is great for inspecting or repairing small items.